Underwater tripods are hugely beneficial for underwater video, yet I don't really see a lot of underwater videographers using them. That's probably because there aren't many good underwater tripod options available. But this has all changed with the recent introduction of the Dive Underwater Flexible Tripod. In today's video, let's look at this tripod and talk about what makes this specific model so unique. Welcome to the channel guys, it's great to see you back here with me today. Now before we get into today's review video, a quick disclosure, Difog isn't paying me anything for this review today. Yes, they have sent me the tripod so I could test it and create this review video here, but they don't have any influence on the content of this review and they haven't seen the review before it was published here on my channel. Now, today's video will be structured into three different parts. First of all, we'll talk about the features of the Dive Fork Underwater Flexible Tripod. Secondly, we'll look at the cons and the pros of the tripod. And lastly, I will share my opinion on what I think or who I think this tripod is made for and who will benefit from using this specific tripod option. The Dyfog Underwater Flexible Tripod is by far the most advanced tripod that I've ever used underwater. The main features include a standard one quarter inch thread connector that can be used to connect, for example, your Dyfog C-Touch 4 Max underwater smartphone housing to the tripod. You can also attach any other camera underwater housing or accessory that works with a one quarter inch connection to the tripod, like for example a GoPro or other action cam. The tripod comes with a ball head allowing you to adjust the position of the camera very easily and precisely. The flexible arms of the tripod give you a lot of versatility and different options as to how and where to position and attach the tripod. Until here, this tripod is very similar to the well-known Gorilla Pods that some of us use for their underwater work. Now, the one thing that really sets this tripod apart from any other on the market is the integration of a small weight block that gets screwed into the base of the tripod. This obviously makes the tripod heavier and much more stable by lowering the center of gravity. This seems like a tiny minor improvement but makes a really big difference in how stable the tripod acts underwater. And I'm actually shocked that no one had thought of this before. It just shows again how innovative the guys at Dyfog are. Now let's have a look at the pros and cons of the Dyfog Underwater Flexible Tripod. On the pro side, we need to mention the ease of use, the compatibility with many small and compact underwater camera systems and the unmatched stability that this tripod provides by integrating that weight block that sits on the base of the tripod. On the con side, only one thing really comes to mind, which is the limitation of using this tripod with action cams and compact systems only. Like for example, GoPros, your Dyfog C-Touch 4 Max underwater smartphone housing, or maybe a TG6 system. For larger systems, like for example a GH5S in a naughty cam housing, this tripod is not recommended. So who is this tripod for and who will benefit from using it? 
any underwater video enthusiast using either a Difog C-Touch 4 Max, a action cam or a compact system wanting to capture rock steady underwater shots will simply love this tripod. Especially if you're used to fighting with a gorilla pot trying to keep it stable while using it underwater, this is gonna be a game changer. And at a price point of $49 only, it really is a steal and kind of a no-brainer. And by the way, using the affiliate link down in the video description below will give you an extra 6% discount on your next purchase. Thanks Dyfog for offering this great deal to the audience. And there you have it, that's my review of what I consider to be the best underwater tripod available at the moment. Let me know down in the comment section below whether you've used this tripod yourself before and how you liked it. Also, should there be any other questions that I didn't answer in this review, let me know in the comment section as well. Until next week guys, head out there and capture all your amazing underwater adventures and I look forward to seeing you back here next Tuesday. Take care and see you soon.